On October the 2nd, Brazilians go to the polls in the first round of presidential elections. The leading contender is the former leader, Luis Inácio Lula da Silva. ...level ever against the US dollar. In early Asia trade, sterling fell to $1.03 before regaining some ground to around NTV1. Now, on the 17th of June this year, FDC strong man, retired Colonel Dr. Kisa Vizge, was denied bail. is impossible. Welcome to another inspiring episode of Podcast with Sheila, the podcast that is spreading positivity around the world by sharing inspiring live experiences. Today's guest, Abigail Mulungi, is a TikTok sensation and an ordinary girl with an extraordinary talent. She is a nine-year-old living with both parents and siblings. Abigail has an extreme talent for lip syncing and that is what caught my eye as I was browsing through TikTok to grow our podcast account. Today, we will be discussing how that journey started for her, where it is now and where it's going from here. We will also share with you some clips from her in action, which can be viewed on our YouTube channel. Hello, Abigail, and welcome to Podcast Thank with Sheila. Thank you, Sheila. Great. So how has your day been? My day has been good. Good. Good, good. Well, before we kick the ball rolling, I've said a little bit about you, but I want you to come in again with a brief background of who you are, where you come from, the school you attend, the course you're doing, things, basic things like that, so that people have an idea yeah. of our guest. Yeah. Um, Abigail, I come from Nangona, and I have three brothers and sisters, and I'm the daughter to Mr. and Mrs. Lutheran. Great. Is that in Uganda? Yeah. Great. So, um, how did your lip syncing talent start for you? At what age did you notice you can do that? I started lip syncing when I was three years old. Oh, wow. Wow. Did you just get into it, doing it, or you saw somebody doing it? Because I've seen you do it with a few um, news readers in Uganda, in the U.S., and in the newscasters in the U.K. as well. So did you see somebody do it, and you decided to do it, or you just went with the, with the flow? I went with the flow. You went with the flow. Yeah. yeah. Great. Have you had any help from anybody to develop your talent, or you've just been growing it on your own? I've had daddy around helping me with my talent. I read that you, do you do drama? Do you act? Yeah, I act with daddy. You act with daddy. Has your dad got a theater or a drama group? Yeah. Oh, all right. So you act with your daddy. It's called, mm -hmm. it's called Theater Focus Uganda. Great. Is that that's a big group, is it? Is it a big group? Yeah. Do you have children in the group or is it a group for adults? It's it's a group for adults. But you act with them as well. Yeah. Great. So um um, listeners, if you'd like to see Abigail do her thing, we are going to be putting videos up um together with this episode so you can watch it on youtube and see her do her thing you really need to see her in action i was really tight i think i saw two of her videos and straight away i decided to send her a message and ask her if she'd like to be here because as you know this podcast is to encourage people and we've done a few podcast episodes in the past where we've had children come on um this platform to talk about their talents and the things they are doing uniquely in their environment and we believe that Abigail is an added, you know, thing to it, the whole bit to show children that whatever they have, they should be able to bring it out and exhibit it and let other children um, benefit from it. And I believe that by l having a look at it and showing it to your children or to your family, you'll be able to unearth a hidden talent in some child or in your own child. So please check it on YouTube and you'll be able to see her in action. To the polls in the first round of presidential elections. The leading contender is the former leader, Luis Inácio Lula da Silva. He first came to power 20 years ago and was once the most popular politician in the world. But corruption scandals tainted his legacy. 
Our South America correspondent Katie Watson starts her report from Manaus in the middle um, of the in Amazon. those videos as well. So aside you in the family, who else has a talent we can talk about? Is it just you amongst your siblings? Is it just you or someone else has a unique talent like you? Yeah, there is my big brother, Larry. She's nine years old like me. Okay. But she can edit pictures. Oh, wow. Is he the one who's been editing your pictures for you? Yeah, but even some, not the videos, the ones that I put on TikTok, that is done that edits those ones. Oh, okay. Great. Wow, that's impressive. So where do you see yourself from here? What, what do you want to do with that talent? I want to grow up and become a news anchor. I also want to grow up and tell people what's happening around there. Oh, wow, that's brilliant. And that's a brilliant job, really. And I'm glad you're doing that. I think in a few of our episodes in the past, you had said that reading is, if you want your child to be an A-plus student, encourage them to read. And I'm glad you're reading because that tells that you're definitely an A-plus student to be reading because once you read, you broaden your horizon of understanding. So that is a great thing to do. So aside lip syncing, what else do you do? Is there any other talent you do on the side you would like to talk about? Um, there is another talent. I like dancing. Oh, brilliant. Do you do that on TikTok as well? No. Why not? I don't know why, but I'm going to check out with daddy. You have to check out with daddy. That's great. Now, let me ask you, your talent, has it impacted your life in any way? Has it changed your life in any way since you discovered it? Um, it has changed my life because from nowhere else, I'm being called to different TVs. Last 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 week, I was called on at UBC. Wow, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. And you discovered your talent at age three and you are nine years old now. So for six years, you've been going with this thing and you, you know, they, people need to see it because when I saw you, Straight away, I wanted to get in touch with you and I was glad you responded. People need to see, and I'm very sure I know that you're going to go far with this talent and it's a brilliant talent. Seriously, it is a brilliant talent. Wow. How do you have friends? Of course I have friends at school. How do they feel around you with this talent? Are they happy for you? How do they feel as a star in the making in their midst? Um... They are my number one support oh, every great. time, whenever, every time when I feel down, like when I get low views, they encourage me. Oh, that's brilliant. It's lovely to have friends, isn't it? It's lovely to have friends. And it's a good thing that your parents are supporting you um, on this journey. I was really glad. I think one of your videos, I saw that, I think that would be your dad was helping you set up before you do your reading. So it's a good thing to see yeah. the support. Yeah, to see the support coming over there. Wow. What will your final message be to other children who will be listening to you? What would you like to tell them? I want to tell them it's great to become a news anchor. That any child that wants to be a news anchor like me must not give up. They must keep on reading. They must... Keep on studying when they will achieve their dream. Is there something you would like to read to us just before we finally close on this one? Um, okay. You have an article over there I, you'd like to read. Pardon? You have an article over there you'd like to read? Yeah. Okay, let's hear you then. My name is Abigail and this is the news today. Parents and learners in both private and government schools will be required to dig deep into their pockets, theft from power in a bid to boost children's health. The Board of Governors and the School Food Committees will be required to make the parents and agree on how much each learner will pay. Mr. Mtekang, however, said parents who are unable to pay through the school should be allowed to give learners money to buy milk from the school canteen during work. That was the news. The average pound has fallen to its lowest 
level ever against the US dollar. In early Asia trade, sterling fell to $1.03 before regaining some ground to around $1.06 as the London markets opened. The pound's fall follows a frosty reception by the markets to the British government's announcement last week. It will cut taxes and hugely increase the amount it borrows. The polls in the first round of presidential elections. The leading contender is the former leader, Luis Inácio Lula da Silva. He first came to power 20 years ago and was once the most popular politician in the world. But corruption scandals tainted his legacy. Our South America correspondent Katie Watson starts her report from Manaus we'll continue in the with middle NTV of the Amazon. Now, on the 17th of June this year, FDC's strong man, retired Colonel Dr. Kiza Visiji, was denied bail before the Uganda Road Court after presiding magistrate ruled that he has no guarantee that Visiji will not commit Abigail. a similar offence. And you are blessed to be able to have this talent. And I'm, I'm always excited to interview children because... I don't know, but in a, in a way, I, I just said we are about to close, but so many things are coming into my head, so don't worry. Let's get on with it. When I see children do things, I get excited looking at their little brains and then they are using it to change the world and to develop the world. Every time I see children do, I get so excited about it. And I'm happy for you. And I know you're going to go far. You're going to go places. This is in, and Already you said you've been on different platforms and I know it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger as you go along. So carry on with this talent and then may God be a blessing unto you as you carry on. I'm glad you also said that you come from a prayerful family. So that is also an yeah. added thing there. And I'm glad about that. So we'd like to say a massive thank you, Abigail, for coming on podcast with Sheila today. Thank you. If you've been listening in, this is season two, episode 70 of our podcast series, where we bring seasoned guests with inspiring real life stories and experiences to share with us. Do not miss out on all these experiences. Subscribe and be notified when a new episode is released. We have a video presentation of this episode on our YouTube channel. Just search for podcast with Sheila on YouTube and you'll find us. Our prayer for you this week is that you will unearth all hidden talents that leads to a successful life. See you at the top. Until we meet again, have a brilliant day.